Train by Elizabeth Cotton. Uh, this is an original Piedmont style arrangement that I have uh, put together uh, based off of uh, Elizabeth Cotton's version. So, um, you know, she plays a very distinct style of finger picking and sh she actually plays a right handed guitar flipped upside down left handed, only she doesn't flip the strings. So if you've never got a chance to, to look up a video of her playing, I know there are a few of them out there. She did a Rainbow Quest uh, with uh, Pete Seeger one episode, um, and I think she actually plays this song, but uh, it's very interesting to watch. She does the, the bass notes with her, I think just a single finger, and her the melody with her thumb. Um, and uh, it, it's it's very uh, interesting to see. Um, that said, you know, Piedmont's just the way that I play, so that's the way, you know, I put this together. Um, if you are not familiar with Piedmont and you would like to learn the, what I'm playing here, um, I'd highly recommend checking out. I have a video playlist for Piedmont uh, lessons. It's all free. I'm not trying to push anybody toward a video to, you know, get views or anything. Um, it's just that I, bake, I break down the basics of um, a Piedmont in that video and I just don't want to cover it each time I do a Piedmont video here so please check that out if you're not familiar otherwise you may find yourself a little frustrated. Um, Piedmont is a very simple technique but it's really difficult to execute and to keep held down. Um, it, it's it's hard to explain until you kind of see it. Um, like I said once it finally clicks you're like wow that just seems so simple it's just your thumb and one finger but it it just can blow your mind when you're just trying to figure it out the first time. And I mean, I'm a, I'm a banjo picker too. I've done plenty of three finger style and some two finger experimentation, you know, I'm not very good at two finger style, but, um, this, you know, freight train, not freight train, I'm sorry, but, uh, Piedmont has really, uh, blown my mind there for a while. So, um, let's said, let's get you to open up the tab that's in the video description. So all my lessons and tabs are free. I have flat picking guitar, I have some finger style guitars. This is now my second Piedmont lesson. Uh, I have claw hammer banjo of, uh, and mandolin. Those are all of varying levels of difficulty, all free. Um, so I do have some ways to support the channel linked in the video description as well. Um, but it's not really about making money. It's about kind of, you know, giving back. There are a lot of free, free, free resources available to me when I was younger, uh, you know, trying to, uh, just to learn songs that I liked and just play better and, uh, try to give back to that. So, uh, if you'd like to throw a, throw, throw a, a, a coin in the tip jar there, it helps keep all these instruments strung up here. Um, if you can't support the, the channel financially, at least give me a thumbs up. Uh, what it does is kind of gives, uh, you know, puts me into the algorithms there and uh, kind of helps there be more free resources to people out there who are, 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 you know, seeking this type of thing out. So there's a lot of stuff that's paywalled, really irritates me. Um, you know, it's how some people make a living, whatever, but, you know, if I can help out, um, you, know, uh, just, you know, just help out in general, uh, that's what I like to do. So let's dive into freight train. Okay, so freight train, let's get started here. Um, this is pretty simple as far as there are just a handful of chords. You're gonna have your C, we're gonna do the alternating bass. You're gonna have a G, you're gonna have a G7 that's kind of like this, and then you're also gonna have a G7 that's like this. And well, and I'll explain that when we get there. You have to do that just to actually hit a certain melody though. So uh, we also have an E7. We have an F where you're gonna walk back and forth. And uh, that should really be about it. So let's kick it off um, and get started on the first line of tap. So we have first starting off is a pinch. And then you're gonna hit your open uh, G. So your melody is gonna sound like this for the opening line. Well, if I can play it right. So, so we're going to pinch, you see two notes on top of each other, that's what it is, to open G, shift to the, you're going to walk up to the G, another pinch, but you're going to bring your, your pinky down on the B string this time, third fret, or, I'm sorry, open G, walk to G again. So, real slow. Sorry, it's hard to slow this stuff down. So if you just follow 
little tab right along. Um, it was confusing. I actually used my in, my middle finger to pick this. And I don't know why, just the way my hand feels. So my, my index finger is not doing anything. It's just my two fingers. So. All right. So now we're going to move to the G chord. And it's going to be a pinch like this. Your G note. You're going to hit an open B. To your open D. So the melody after the beginning melody. Do, 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 do. Now we're going to go. So that, that G goes. reason this is a little tricky in Piedmont you usually have like a pinch 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 well we're gonna do two pinches back to back to achieve not only the melody note but the walking bass so you'll see under the G we're so what I'm doing there is hitting the G bass, well, okay, start on the G bass with the open B, I'm alternating to the D, and then I'm pinching again, I'm not moving, and then, sorry. So that sounds a little discorded there, but it fits in the context when you play right through it, because your alternating bass is going. So. That actually threw me for a loop at first. I was like trying to figure out how to make that. I was going like, or like trying to hit it with my thumb. I don't know, but that's the way it works out. Now we're on the second line of tab. So we had the, and you're gonna stay on this G and then now you're gonna go. And now you're gonna shift, so you're Essentially, add a G7 here because of the melody note, but you're going to shift to this chord real quickly that's like this. And that's because a G7, I mean, I suppose you need to hit this F for your bass, this one. So you're going to go second line of tab, forget the little two zeros at the beginning, the open notes. We go to the pinch of the, th the three and the three. shift like this oh I'm sorry you gotta put this down to the C there's another one of those little tricks it's a double pinch back or back to back pinch and it gets so when you get to the C on the second line of tab it's gonna go well, it's this one was the one that about broke my damn brain trying to figure it out so you're going uh, let's start on the C, second line of tab. Open G. So when you play it kind of quickly through, it goes like from the C. thumbnail keeps getting caught trust me you can get it I, I was so frustrated with it and it's 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 achievable it's just you gotta you have to kind of almost break that that Piedmont like thum, 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 that pattern and kind of give it a little extra bit to make it work 
Um, so um, let's take it from the top of that and that one we'll move into the second section and then we'll wrap it up. It's a pretty easy song. Um, once you get it, it's not very, uh, you know, it's very repetitive. So from the beginning, I'll play it kind of at speed. So then we're going to move on to now, uh, you'll see where they, they have the, the repeat symbols. Oh, oh. Uh, I was outside cutting the grass. That's pollen, not dandruff. Uh, Y'all missed my jean shorts from the other day uh, when I was digging up a stump. So um, let's get down to this kind of second section. So I think... I mean, I think you're kind of playing an E into an E7. It's kind of hard to tell, um, you know, uh, when she's playing. You're definitely hitting and making an E7 for the melody note, but we're gonna. It's gonna sound like this for this E. It's a really cool uh, little little bouncy beat there. Um, so for the other ones, you know, for our G, we were alternating between our G and our open D. C, we were doing C root and open G. Um, and for this one though, I chose to alternate between the open E and this G sharp actually. And that's just so I can do that cool hammer on. Um, so we're gonna pinch both open, form your E chord, we're gonna pinch both open notes on either side of the chord. So we're gonna go, if you were gonna do this without the hammer on, it would just sound like this. We're just gonna hammer that on. Gives it a whole different feel, it's just cool. And then you're gonna plant your pinky on your third fret and your B and pinch those. So that's pretty straightforward. None of that real crazy double pinch stuff in the beginning. And you're gonna shift to the F, it's a partial F. So some people, and I think even Elizabeth Cotton does this, where some people will use like their thumb. And so, I mean, like, I don't know if it's just me. I usually don't have trouble hitting chords, but that, I think I'm just like too inconsistent with it. And you can use the same thing just down here. So I'm choosing to use the higher end of the the uh, the guitar to, to play my, you know, root bass notes here. So we're going F. Shift up to C. Put your pinky down for three and three. So the E7 to the F quickly sounds like this. Slowly. C. So this is the last part that's just a little tricky. Um, this one actually took me a minute to figure out for Piedmont um, just because of the way that, um, you know, she plays it. She plays this. I still actually have no idea how she's achieving what she gets. It's this really full lick, but <clears throat> what I came up with was C, op you know, open C. Let me just play it from the C on the second to last line of tab. So it's going to be your open, open G. Now you're going to leave your ring finger where it is and you're going to pinch, you're going to end up making this. You're going to end up bringing your pinky down to make that sort of G7 again that we did earlier. But now the, where our fingers land, it needs to be your pinky. So from the C position, You're gonna pinch the open G and the fretted G and hammer on to second fret on the G. And then as you go down to your 
your bass note for the open D string, you're gonna hammer on your pinky. So uh, like, so it'll sound like, sorry, I did that again. C. So the E7, that part repeats itself. It's part of the melody. If you listen to the song, you'll hear it. So let me hit that C to G7. I'll do it at speed and then I'll do it slow again. So. So the whole section sounds like this. From the top, I'll take the whole song and uh, we'll wrap this thing up. There. Wouldn't be a playthrough if I didn't just screw the whole thing up. has helped you please give it a like uh it really helps more free resources get out there for other folks so until next time thanks for watching